Hello everyone, my name is Chris. Welcome to another episode of Unveil the Vinyl. Last episode, we opened up a 1976 album from the band Silver, whose keyboard and vocalist Brent Midland went on to be a member of the Grateful Dead for 11 years. Also, I shared with you my sealed Grateful Dead album collection. This episode, we're gonna get into the jazz category and open up a 1965 Blue Midnight album by Burt Kempfer. Although that seemed like a really good idea, I was going through some of my Tubbs albums and I happened to notice I have a Burt Kempfer album. And it's already open. So I can't see any reason to open up another one. I did listen to it, it's amazing. But I also have an Al Hurt, or Al, he's the King Hurt, Latin in the Horn, 1956. Before we unveil this 52 year old vinyl, I'd like to take a moment to show you some of the jazz albums that we have in our shop. Now that you've seen some of the jazz albums we got in the store, let's unveil this vinyl. 52 years of sitting in this packaging. You know what I find funny about that? This thing was packaged before I was even born. Yeah, that's true. I'm not gonna tell you how long before I was born. I'll let you guess on that. Let's open this thing up. There it is. Let's see what we got. comes the vinyl. Nice and clean. 52 year old. Brand new vinyl. I'm gonna throw this on the record player. See how it sounds. Well that was really cool. Nice clean sound. I'd have to say my favorite song was Gringo A Go Go, first song on the second side. I played it a second time before the album finished, and I played it a third time when it ended. Check it out online, Al Hertz, Gringo A Go Go. I thank you all for watching Unveil the Vinyl, and I hope to see you at the next episode. You all take care. See ya. Take it away, Lewis. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.